Mental Math Tricks for Addition, Group Compatible Numbers. When adding a column of numbers, we can group the numbers that are easy to add. We can make a 10. If we see a 1 and a 9, we know that's 10. If we see a 2 and an 8, or an 8 and a 2, that makes a 10. We find numbers that will make a 10. Here we have 8 plus 5 plus 2. If we know our facts that equal 10, we know that 8 plus 2 equals 10. Then we can just add the 5. We can go quickly. 10 plus 5 is 15. We find the numbers that make a 10, then add the rest of the numbers. In this equation, we have 15 plus 26 plus 17 plus 14 plus 23 plus 11. We look at the ones column and we find the digits that will equal 10. We have a 6 and a 4, that makes 10. We have a 7 and a 3, that makes 10. And we have a 5 and a 1 left over. We know we have 20, 25, 26. We regroup the two 10s, put the six ones down, then we add the 10s column. I can skip count the 2s, 2, 4, 6, and then I can count the 1s, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 106. Here we have 25 plus 14 plus 15 plus 23 plus 13 plus 28. We can make several 10s. I see two 10s that we can make. We have a 5 plus a 5, and we might see three digits that will make a 10. Here we have 4 and 3 and 3. That makes a 10. So we have two 10s and an 8. That makes 28. We regroup the two 10s, put the 8 ones down, and now I can skip count these 2s. 2, 4, 6, 8, and then count the 1s. 9, 10, 11. That means we have 118. So sometimes we can make several 10s. We might see three digits that'll make a 10. Sometimes adding double numbers, doubles, like 5 plus 5 or 3 plus 3 is faster. Now we're going to add 268 plus 251 plus 342. We look at the ones place and think, well, we can make a 10 with the 8 and the 2, and we have one left over. That's 11. So we're going to regroup the 10 to the tens place value and put our 1 in the ones place value. Now, looking at the tens place value, I see a 6 and a 4 that makes a 10. We add 5, that's 15, and one more is 16. We regroup. Put our 6 down here. Now we add the hundreds. And to go quickly, I like to add the greatest digit first. So we start with 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 861. To add 8 plus 7, there's a couple ways we could do it quickly. We can think that 7 is the same thing as 2 plus 5, and we can make a 10 with the 8 plus 2 then add the 5 to it. We break 7 apart into a 2 and a 5, give the 2 to the 8 to make a 10, then add the 5 to get 15. The 8 only needs 2 more to make a 10. We break apart the 7 as a 2 plus 5 and give 2 to the 8. Now that's one way. Here's another way. If we know our addition facts for doubles, we can find that sum and add or subtract 1. We have our 8 plus 7. We can think, well, I know that 8 plus 8 is 16, so 8 plus 7 must be 1 less. It must be 15. Or if we know that 7 plus 7 is 14, then 8 plus 7 must be 15. We can find doubles and add 1 or subtract 1 to find the sum. I'm going to put a link in the description for a lesson if you want to know more about adding doubles plus one or doubles minus one to add quickly. The commutative property of addition states that we can add in any order. We can add quickly by making tens or grouping compatible numbers. Our next lesson is going to be mental math tricks count up by place value using no paper I'm going to show you how you can use mental math to add 
larger numbers. I hope you're doing well, and I hope this helped you, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.